Uh, this this conversation goes on and on. Just the background, the merger talks have continued. They hope by April the PGA and the LIV will be merged. But the LIV, you know, this past off season went in and stole a couple of more players, including John Rahm. Well, the LIV petitioned the World Golf Ranking Organization. They're the ones that rate all the, the professional leagues and give players points, bonus points, that count towards those players going to the Grand Slam events, hmm. the Masters, the British Open, et cetera. When the LIV started stealing PGA players, the World Golf Association said, no, we're not going to allow them to compete for points that makes them eligible for Grand Slam events. So after two years of arguments and the, the LIV guys being banned from coming to play, they opened negotiations and I had conversations about LIV, Greg Norman, let us deliver our players. You rank them based on what they're doing in our league and then put those points in and let them be eligible. The PGA said, no, we don't want that. And then the World Golf Organization, which controls those rankings, came back and evaluated and said, no, they sent a memo to Greg Norman saying you should withdraw your request to have your players be eligible for our world rankings. We don't recognize your team concept of play. We don't recognize there's only 34 players who have access to your league because that's all you've signed. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to let you qualify. The only guys who can qualify are past winners. And there are, you know, the John Roms of the world have won a Grand Slam event, which gives them the right to come back in and play right. at the Masters, et cetera. Those are the only ones, past winners, and the guys that qualify in points. LIV is screaming discrimination. PGA's response is, you violated the PGA Tour card by luring these guys, the Mickelsons, the Dustin Johnsons, the Kepkas. They violated their tour card, and they went and took the money to go to Saudi Arabia, so you're not eligible. So that's a big point. It's a big arguing point now. The LIV, for the third year in a row, none of their stars outside of the guys that might have been a past Grand Slam winner are going to be able to play, uh, coming back here to play in the Masters, to play in the British, et cetera. This whole thing is so screwed up. Lee. Oh. I mean, are they trying to – make sure I understand what you said here. Are they trying to intermingle players from the PGA and the LIV? In the Grand Slams. Okay, to, to qualify for the Grand Slams, right? You have, you have to qualify if you're not a past winner, right. okay? You qualify by all the points you build up and all the tournaments you play, whether you play in the European tournament or you play in Japan or you play on the PGA Tour. That's how you build your points. Okay, so— The so LIV's been banned. The LIV players have been banned from earning points in those tournaments because the LIV's got them playing in the Saudi Arabian League. Right, yeah, because and, and, and there's grudge mode and everything else going on. Okay, this is interesting because at first I thought— you know, it was a little bit of a, you know, unusual way to kind of how do you rank to players that that are in different leagues, you know, like in different universes. Um, but I was wondering if it was like a college football ranking, but it's based on points, but it's like not an apples to apples comparison. Well, is it's it? apples to apples in every tour except Saudi Arabia. They're not playing metal play. Right. So how do you They're playing calculate team play. points yeah. and, and try to have some normalization yeah. of the numbers? We don't agree with the format of the tournaments you're running, which is team play. Yeah. And that's where the LIV is basing our uniqueness is. Well, all this grudge mode just keeps <laughs> making everything worse. You know, they need to find ways to come together rather than trying to point fingers. And they got all these great players over there playing the LIV globally. Nobody watches. Yeah. I don't Nobody watch. pay attention. No, I don't watch any of that. Uh, I mean, I... Joaquin Neiman just jumped from last year to the LIV. He's won the first two tournaments, LIV. The whole world doesn't know that. I know that because I follow this junk. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> it's just, it just, there's no solution. We're in the third year of this civil war in pro golf. So we'll see where that goes. Hey, our podcast.